Huge changes are coming to the greater Indianapolis area, and you don't want to miss out. Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate, bringing you the word on the street, talking Indiana real estate. Okay, so what are some of the huge changes coming to the greater Indianapolis area? Number one, and one of my favorites, is the Bottle Works District. It's near downtown, and it's at the end of Mass Ave, which is where tons of the trendy restaurants are, concerts, and a lot of nightlife. Bottle Works District is being built at the site of the former Coca-Cola Bottling Works, and as the brochure says, it's where history meets modern luxury and style. It features the Garage Food Hall, which has all things delicious. It was nominated by US say today is the best food hall in the country. Also, it sports an eight-screen movie theater with a cafe and lounge. There's a fitness boutique, offices, and shops. And it's anchored by the Bottle Works Hotel, which is fast becoming the go-to place to stay downtown. All this has done wonders for the local real estate values. One client of mine lives just about two blocks from here. They've seen their $400,000 investment grow to 600 plus in just a few short years. Now, the Bottle Works is just one of many development and redevelopment projects in the metro area. There's a long list with over $1 billion being spent on everything from hotels to an event center to a one acre Tesla plant on the south side. Thinking about relocating to central Indiana in the Indianapolis area? Well, I've got just the thing for you. My team and I have actually taken the time to create the ultimate relocation guide, which is meant to save you hours of research. And I've linked it down below. From top employers, the best hospitals, and a boatload of other things you need to know before making the move. The best part, the guide is 100% free. That's right, you heard me right, 100% free. Just click the link in the description or the top pinned comment. I hope that helps. Number two, Indy's Major League Soccer franchise, Indy 11, will soon have a new home. The 11 Park is a $1 billion complex nestled between Victory Field and Lucas Oil Stadium on the southwest corner of downtown. It's within walking distance to everything. In addition to the new soccer stadium, It'll have its own complex of hotels, office buildings, and retail shops. Big Time Soccer gets its own arena to show off. Number three, speaking of sports, Indy will continue decades long tradition of hosting one major amateur sports championship after another. In 2024, we'll see the Women's NCAA Basketball Final Four as well as the Men's Swimming and Diving Championships. In 2025, the NCAA Division II is bringing something here called the Winter National Festival, with champions being crowned in a multiple sports. And in 2026, March Madness returns to Indy. That's right, Indy hosts the NCAA Men's Basketball Final Four. Get your tickets. Number four, people gotta get here and then get around town. Not exciting, you say? Yeah, well, it's a difference maker. Unlike some cities I can think of, Indy works, and stuff like this is why. After two years of being closed for rebuilding bridges and ramps going every which way, I-70 has reopened. There's major work on the Beltway, I-465, underway at the moment. Yeah, we're sick and tired of the cone zones, but when it's all done, it's gonna be super. And the southern leg of I-69 out of Indy connecting Canada to Mexico will soon be completed this coming year. Hey, you put all that together and you've got just a ton of stuff coming online, both the fun stuff and the infrastructure that makes it all work. So don't miss out. Get your tickets, come join in the fun, and be sure to hit the subscribe button and share this whenever you're talking real estate because I work harder to make great things happen. Make it a great day now.